You know, when you grew up, you learned everything by looking at your mother and father. My brothers and sisters, listen carefully to this point. Tomorrow, the young sisters who are sitting up there and who are going to be listening to this, you will be the mothers of the future. If today you are wearing tight clothes and makeup and you've got your hair out, then tomorrow what example are you going to give to your daughter when she grows up? What example are you going to give her? She will say, Mom, you did it. Why can't I do it? Today, my brother, you dress like a gangster. You have zigzags in your head. Today, you disrespect and dishonor the beard of Rasulullah Tomorrow, when your son is going to see this, what do you think he's going to do? Do you not think he's going to do the same thing? He looks up to you. You're going to be the father of the future. You're going to be the mother of the future. So why is it that you have, you are lost, you are delusion in this dunya? One day you will marry and fulfill the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, yet you are not ready for marriage. You are not ready because when you're going to bring children, a responsibility, ask those who are fathers and mothers now, they are crying because the children are not on the deen. Many people come to me and say, Imam Sahib, my son is not on the deen. Imam Sahib, my daughter doesn't listen to me. Imam Sahib, they're independent and free now. What, does, what can Imam Sahib do? <laughs> what can Imam Sahib do? Imam Sahib tells them this. When they were six, seven years old, why didn't you bother then? When they were six, seven years old, you spoiled them with PlayStation 3s and mobile phones. And today, now they've got a mobile phone and they've got 100 girls numbers in there. Why are you surprised for? This is the 21st century. The 21st century we live in. Move with the times. This is the day and age our youth are going through. Why is it we become oblivious to this?